Hello friends, this video on natural resources part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, the important thing that we need to think about is the cause of water pollution because if we want to come up with a solution for water pollution because we know that it is not good, it has so much of harmful effects. So in order to find a solution, first we need to know what are the causes of water pollution. The first cause is waste water. Now the chemicals washed down the drains of our household or the chemicals which are discharged from factories, they are highly toxic and all these water in the drains, those drains gradually meet some nearby pond or lake and those lakes meet in some river, the rivers meet in some ocean. So basically all these waste materials which are there in our nearby drains, they are gradually going to meet up a bigger water body and it is going to pollute that water body. So this, discharge, this discharging of uh, direct discharge of waste water into bigger water bodies cause pollution. So that is one cause. Untreated sewage. Now proper disposal of sewage would mean treating the sewage. So what do we mean by treating the sewage? Now we all know that sewage will definitely contain a lot of harmful chemicals and harmful substances, even harmful bacteria or other microbes. But there are options that we can treat the sewage. That means we make the sewage undergo some primary and secondary treatment so that the more toxic chemicals which are present in the sewage can be converted into less toxic materials. So at least we can reduce the toxic level of the sewage. For example, uh, if we use flush toilets in our households, so the flush toilets take sewage waste quickly and hygienically away from our homes. So flush toilets are better. Now sewage disposed into water untreated can severely and badly pollute the water and this happens. Now forget about untreated sewage. A lot of times as I mentioned just now that a lot of people they don't even use toilets they directly uh, urinate or pass excreta in the water bodies. So that means what happens? The water gets polluted extremely badly. Chemical wastes. Now a lot of highly toxic chemicals are also released from various factories with which deals with many chemicals. Even the detergents, they are also high, they are also they also contain highly toxic chemicals. Now, some of the highly toxic chemicals like PCB, polychlorinated biphenyls, or even uh, the batteries contain many harmful wastes like lead, cadmium, mercury. So all of these kind of wastes come out of factories and they should never be dumped into water bodies but actually they are dumped into water bodies. Plastics. Now we all know that plastics are not biodegradable but at the same time being light they float easily. So if we when we discharge or when we throw plastics, the pla used plastics, maybe a plastic bottle, you bought a plastic bottle containing water, you drank the water, now the bottle is of no use, you just threw the bottle into the nearby river. So what happened to that bottle? The bottle being light, it is like floating on the water. Now what might happen is that plastic might get consumed by a fish or any other organism which live in that river. And the plastic may cause that fish to choke and therefore kill them because plastics are not digestible. They are not edible. So they will cause the fish to choke and it will kill it. Use of insecticides and pesticides. Now, these days we have also seen that just to increase the crop yield, what happens? The farmers use excessively insecticides and pesticides. So insecticides and pesticides, they are used to kill the insects or pests that might spoil the plant. But when we use these insecticides and pesticides in excess amount, what happens? Sometimes with the rain, the insecticides and pesticides are also get washed away along with the rainwater and they get deposited or they come into the they get discharged into the water bodies like the nearby river or lake and that's how these harmful chemicals and these are very strong harmful chemicals because you see they have the capability to kill insects and pests pests so they are extremely powerful chemicals and they get discharged into the water bodies and thereby polluting them dead bodies 
dead bodies are in the earlier days dead bodies were always released into the water so when dead bodies are released into water what happens now as the body uh, decays a lot of chemicals get released from the body and those poisonous chemicals get released into the water and therefore pollutes the water so therefore these days uh, disposal of dead bodies into the water is not allowed not only these besides we also have a lot of radio wastes that means radioactive wastes so radioactive wastes even in small concentration can cause deadly diseases like cancer in high concentration it can directly kill uh, animals so wastes from nuclear power plants have radioactive wastes and these radioactive wastes if directly discharged into the water bodies is make, going to make the water deadly Now, when we talk about water pollution, algal bloom is something which needs attention. So, what is algal bloom? So, it is excessive growth of algae on the water surface, which imparts a color to the water body. Now, have you ever seen a layer of a green layer of grass-like structure on the surface of a pond or a lake? I think this is a common scenario in a lot of places. So, just try to observe this whenever you go around and see lakes and ponds just see if you ever come across a lake which has a green carpet like layer on its surface so what is that green layer that is nothing but algae and that is excessive growth of algae so algae has grown so much that it kind of imparts a color to the water body so the water is no more like the light blue original color of water it imparts a green color to the water as well so this algal bloom generally occur in fresh water or marine water bodies. The discoloration of water happens due to high density of the pigmented cells of the algae. Because algae have uh, a specific color of its own due to the presence of some colored pigments. For example, the green color might be due to chlorophyll. Similarly, certain algae are red in color. So all these colors are due to some specific pigments. And when there is excess of algae, there is excess of that pigment also and which gives that color to the water. Now, what is the cause of this algal bloom? The cause is excess of nutrients that is excess of nutrients like phosphates due to excess use of fertilizers on agricultural land as I was telling just now just to increase the crop productivity sometimes too much of fertilizers are applied to the field now what happens during rains these excess of fertilizers might get washed away and get discharged into the nearby water body and this excess of fertilizers when they reach the river they contain lot of phosphates or nitrates and all of these excess of nutrients favor the growth of lot of algae and what do algae need to grow they need sunlight slow moving water and excess nutrients so excess nutrients is provided from the fertilizers which are rich in phosphates so excess nutrients are provided by the fertilizers which are rich in phosphates. Sunlight anyways it, it is there and slow moving water if the water is not moving very fast. That's why I told you that you would have seen this algal bloom either in some nearby pond or lake because the water in ponds or lakes are not that fast moving when compared to sea or river. Now what could be the effects of this algal bloom? So the effect is that it becomes extremely toxic to humans and animals. So the presence of algal bloom, it kind of, the, so much of presence of algae, what happens? Algae cup takes the entire uh, upper surface of the water. So all the animals which are living inside, they kind of get suffocated. They do not get sufficient light and sufficient nutrients that they need to survive. So the entire aquatic life is spoiled. At the same time, the water is like mixed with so much of harmful chemicals. So the water from uh, such a water body is not drinkable. So the aquatic life is killed, the water quality is spoiled. Increases treatment costs for drinking water because it might happen that let's say that there is a pond, pond uh, and in the neighboring area you do not have any other water body. So you are totally dependent on that 
pond for drinking water but there is algal bloom which has developed on that pond so now you know that the water of the pond is not suitable for drinking but you do not have any other alternative so what would you do you would make that water of that pond undergo the entire treatment process where you will purify that water but this entire process of purification of water will consume a lot of costs because the more polluted the water is the more would be the treatment costs so in this case the treatment cost increases a lot now let's talk about the insecticides and the pesticides as discussed just now that when we use these things in excess in an agricultural land and if let's say that you applied too much of insecticides pesticides or fertilizers or whatever today and maybe within a day or two there was good amount of rain so what happens the rain water will wash away the soil containing all these chemicals and they will discharge them into the nearby water body so directly it will impact the aquatic life firstly so much of toxic chemicals will be harmful for humans and animals which who are dependent on the water of that water body secondly to directly kill the aquatic life thirdly again if you want to use the water of that water body for drinking purposes the treatment cost would increase so the purification cost would definitely increase it adversely affect the plant growth because too much of chemicals will definitely not promote plant growth it will have an adverse impact sewage as i mentioned that waste water needs to be removed from a community for healthy living so and what is this waste water all about now what is sewage basically for those who are not aware what is sewage so sewage is the waste water which comes out of each of our houses every day it could be the water which is coming out from the toilets or the water which is coming out from your bathroom outlets so all this is waste water and the waste water coming out from an entire community where there are multiple houses so that collective waste water is termed as sewage so where do we send this sewage and how do we send it that is very important so if this sewage which contains so much of harmful things is directly discharged into a water body so undoubtedly the water body gets polluted so therefore inappropriate disposal of sewage can definitely cause pollution because the water body gets polluted and then the same water is going to be utilized by us for many different purposes again so we cannot use that polluted water for bathing or cooking or drinking so again the treatment will cost us huge now the question is how does sewage discharge harm aquatic life so when we discharge sewage into the water bodies this what happens is the microbes or the microorganisms which are present they cause biodegradation of the organic matter so what do we mean by that so organic matter that is which can be broken down by the microorganisms further now when this biodegradation takes place what happens the microbes in order to do this biodegradation the microbes also need some amount of energy like we do some work we need energy to do that work similarly these microbes also to perform biodegradation of organic matter they also need some energy so all the oxygen which is present inside the water they that is used up by the microbes to do this biodegradation right so what's going to happen so for the aquatic organisms there is no more oxygen left because most of the oxygen is actually used up by the microorganisms to break down organic matter so the aquatic life like the fishes or the aquatic plants they also need oxygen but for them there is shortage of oxygen and without oxygen what would happen life forms will not be able to survive so therefore this kills the aquatic life so basically when we dispose sewage into the water so sewage is what it contains a lot of microorganisms also like bacteria and all it also contains a lot of harmful chemicals it also contains a lot of organic matter so the moment all of these is dumped into the water body the microbes start their job they start to biodegrade biodegrade or break down the organic matter and they start consuming up all the oxygen that is present in water and lack of oxygen kills the normal aquatic life 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.